everyone and welcome to Edusearch Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and today we are back on our radiology console. A lot of requests were coming for putting up videos on more diseases involving the body on CT and MRI. So we are going to continue our series on radiology and the plan will be same. We would show the scan first. Once you have gone through the scan, mark your findings and then you can compare it during the discussion. So you can identify the phase, you can identify the different parts of the body on the scan, whether it's CT, whether it's MRI, that's a very basic question. And then you start looking at the pathology, if there is any pathology, and then staging, if it's malignancy, and severity grading if it's benign disease or any such relevant information that will be important to manage the patient. So as we always say, it is very important to discuss your scan with your radiologist on the console because the number of findings that you can see on the console are way more than what you can see individually or on only the plates of the CT. Try to identify all the findings in the scans when you are seeing the scans and that will help you in picking them up faster as you go on increasing the number of scans that you see. This is a coronal image. Again, a hint on what we want to discuss in this scan is if you have seen the disease, this is the coronal images. Okay, so now let us see the findings. In the neck area, there are no significant lymph nodes. So that is something that you can see very easily. Now start identifying organs because this pathology and this area is something that we have not discussed in the past. So very simply, this is the trachea and this is the esophagus. So at least these two organs you should identify because this can classically involves disease of the esophagus. So as you go down, you will see parts of the heart appearing. So now follow the trachea first very simply we will see the trachea this is the carinal region and dividing into right and left bronchus you can see the esophagus air in the esophagus so till here we can't see anything abnormal as we go down you can see that the esophagus is starting to get thickened this entire area esophagus is a bit thickened now you see loss of air in esophagus. There is no air in the esophagus in this area. So understand that in CT scan, the esophagus appears like a slit. Okay, But as we go down, there is no air or there is only a point of air in the esophagus. So in this entire structure, there are only two spots of air in the esophagus. What that means is that the esophagus is thickened. You can see no air in this area. Right? very thickened esophagus in this area, correct? So as we go up, just to show you how the normal esophagus, so this is normal, okay? You will see only a slit of air in the esophagus. Even this part is normal, normal. So till the carinal bifurcation, the esophagus is looking normal, but below it, the thickening starts. And then you can see this entire thickening in the esophagus, thickening of the esophagus, okay, probably a nodal mass also. So thickening of the esophagus. Now you are coming down towards the G junction, right? So this is the crust, right crust and the left crust. You can see it going, opening into the stomach, right? So this is the lumen of the stomach. So disease is in the lower half of the esophagus below the carina. 
So we have discussed the parts of esophagus and the classifications of esophagus in a short clip also. So you can see that clip if you don't remember the parts of the esophagus. But from malignancy point, this disease is most likely malignant, a lymphoma or adenocarcinoma, you can't say on the scan, but malignant more likely with this kind of thickening in the esophagus. Now, when we see this kind of thickening, the important point is the relations of this tumor with the surrounding structures. Okay, so one important relationship is with the aorta. So what you do is you look at the plane between the aorta and the esophagus. So this is the plane between the aorta and the esophagus. We can see that in most of its part, the plane is intact, but there are some areas where the plane looks to be missing like this area right it is not invading into the aorta but in this area there is no clear plane similarly there are some points where the plane is hazy at best right you can see the plane is getting hazy in area in this this is normal this is looking normal this is not looking normal so one is plain with the aorta. The other important thing is plain with the inferior vena cava. So this is the inferior vena cava. You can see it from the heart going down behind the liver, right? So this is retrohepatic cava, inferior vena cava in its lower part. So the plane looks to be maintained. We already saw the relationship with carina once again. The disease is getting over at this point. So at the level of carina, the disease looks not to be there. So it is not involving the trachea and the carina. Some other structure, the lymph node, pretracheal node, you can see here, right? So there is a small node in this area. As we go down, there is a small node in the area of surgery. If you have missed, this is the node, right? This is the node. It's a lesser curve node, right? So a lesser curve node also there. The disease is bulky, but the planes with aorta and cava are maintained. If you have seen the axial cuts, you should also see the disease in the coronal cuts. The reason being that it gives more idea about the involvement of the G junction. You can see that the disease is there till this area. Right? So, if you are you're going to operate on this patient, you need to be aware of the extent of involvement of G-junction. So, that is important. You can see the node that we picked up here. Right, So, there is a node in this area. Coming to the upper relations, this is the division of trachea. You can nearly see the disease reaching that area as well. Right, So, disease is there in this area also. In this scan, you also need to look at the lungs to rule out lung metastasis, right? So you look at the lungs for two, three reasons. One is you look at the quality of the lungs. If the patient is going to undergo thoracic surgery, you need to make sure that the lungs are good because 50 to 60 percent of complications after this surgery are going to be cardiopulmonary. So this is again an important point. You can't see any disease in the lung. This is a lung window. Okay, so this is a window in the scan, which is known as lung window, where you can see the lung parenchyma better. Compare it with the routine scan window or the abdomen window. Here you can't make out disease in the lung, right? So lung windows are better to see the lungs. So that is also an important point in this scan. Vital cuts and you look at the relationship of the tumor with the aorta. That is very important. You can see here that the disease is a bit lateral and it is not involving the aorta. So the plane is nearly intact. All these are very important points when you are seeing diseases of the esophagus. Especially in this case, this turned out to be adenocarcinoma esophagus and we did give neoadjuvant chemoradiation to the patient and after that esophagectomy. Thank you.